Hello viewers, in this video we will see turnover ratios. Ok, this is the chart of ratios and uh, under turnover we have 9 ratios. In the previous video we saw 4 types and in this video we will see the remaining ratios. Ok, the first one is creditor turnover ratio and the formula to find this is credit purchase or net purchase. Ok, in the absence of credit purchase we can use this net purchase divided by average accounts payables ok credit purchase is nothing but the total purchase minus cash purchase minus purchase returns ok the other way also we can find this credit purchase sales plus closing stock minus opening stock minus direct expenses minus gross profit ok in some cases we will use this direct expenses if direct expenses is there in problem we will use it ok and uh, average accounts payable is nothing but opening accounts payable plus closing accounts payables divided by 2. Okay. This accounts payable is nothing but the bills payables plus creditors. Okay. If we add this bills payables and creditors, we will get the accounts payables. And if we do it in the opening, it is opening accounts payables. And if we do it in the closing, it is closing accounts payables. Okay. Next, creditors payment period, number of months or days in a year divided by creditor turnover ratio. If it is a month, we have to take 12 months. And if it is a days, we have to take 365. Okay. Divided by creditor turnover. And the formula is the same, which we saw in the previous slide. Okay. That is credit purchase divided by average accounts payables in the absence of credit purchase we have to use net purchase working capital turnover ratio and the formula is cost of sales or sales okay in the absence of cost of sales we can use this sales divided by working capital and you know how to find this cost of sales it's sales minus gross profit okay and working capital is nothing but your current assets minus current liabilities. I hope you all know what all current assets and what all current liabilities. Okay. Because we already saw in our liquidity ratios. And the next formula is fixed asset turnover ratio. And the formula is cost of sales or sales divided by net fixed assets. The same cost of sales is to be used here. If it is not given, we can use the sales and net fixed asset is nothing but your fixed asset normally will take land building plant machinery you know that minus depreciation okay the fixed assets minus depreciation is the net fixed assets next is capital turnover ratio and the formula is cost of sales or sales divided by capital employed okay capital employed is nothing but your uh, shareholders funds your long term debt okay I hope you all know what is the shareholders fund. Yes, it is share capital, reserves and surplus, profit and loss account. This is the shareholders funds. We can take both equity share capital and as well as preference share capital here. Okay. And the long term debt is debentures, bond or any long term loans or borrowings which we borrowed outside. That, uh, that is the long term debt. Okay. So we have to add all this will get capital employed okay we'll see one problem now calculate credit turnover ratio and average payment period total purchases 3 lakh cash purchases rupees 30000 purchase return rupees 51000 creditors at the end rupees 1 lakh 5000 bills payables at the end rupees 60000 reserve for discount on creditors rupees 8000 okay here the total purchase was given we have to find out the credit purchase because we will have cash purchase here. So, if we subtract this, we will get credit purchase. Okay. And uh, this reserve for discount on creditors will not come under this. Okay. Yes, let us start doing the problem. And the formula to find this credit turnover ratio is credit purchase divided by average accounts payable or we can use the net purchase. Since we have the credit purchase in this problem, we need not worry about this net purchase. Okay. We can take this credit purchase for calculating this credit or turnover ratio. Yes. First, we will find this credit purchase. Total purchase minus cash purchase minus purchase return. Yes. We have total purchase 3 lakh and cash purchase is 30,000 and purchase return is 51,000. Okay. If we substitute in this formula, we will get 2 lakh 19,000 
and the average accounts payable we have to find we don't have opening and closing balance of this bills payable and creditors here okay we just have the bills payables and creditors at the end see creditors at the end is 105000 and bills payables at the end is 60000 so no need to find out the average of this okay just we have to add this two bills payables plus creditors will get 165000 this is the accounts payables okay if opening and closing was given we have to find out the average otherwise we no need to find out the average we can just take the accounts payables okay if we substitute in the formula see 219000 divided by 165000 will get 1.33 times that is the creditor turnover ratio okay and using this creditor turnover ratio we can easily find out the average payment period average payment period is nothing but creditor's payment period and the formula is number of days in a year or number of months in a year divided by creditor turnover ratio we found this creditor turnover ratio right and number of days is 365 divided by 1.33 will get 275 days okay if we do it in months we'll see how much months will get yes 9.04 months okay are you clear yes we'll see one more problem you are required to calculate the following working capital turnover fixed asset turnover capital turnover okay the information available is as under capital employed rupees 4 lakh current assets 2 lakh current liabilities 40000 net fixed assets rupees 2 lakh 50000 sales rupees 5 lakh cost of sales rupees 4 lakh okay everything in this problem was given directly okay no need to calculate this capital employed current assets and current liabilities it is given directly so we have to just take this amount and substitute in the formula to get this ratios okay yes we'll do it now first working capital turnover ratio formula is cost of sales divided by working capital here the cost of sales was also given that is 4 lakh and for uh, working capital alone we have to subtract this current assets and current liability okay we have to find out the difference of this okay yes working capital formula is current assets minus current liability current assets is 2 lakh and current liability is 40000 so we'll get 160000 and cost of sales was given in the problem so we can directly find the working capital turnover ratio it is 2.5 times okay next one is fixed asset turnover ratio and the formula is cost of sales or sales divided by fixed asset okay here we have cost of sales so we can take that divided by fixed asset is given directly it is 250000 so if we substitute in the formula 4 lakh divided by 2 lakh 50000 will get 1.6 times okay we can also use the sales that is sales is 5 lakh so 5 lakh divided by 2 lakh 50000 also we can do it here okay both the way we can find and uh, first you will give preference to cost of sales okay if it is not possible to find out this cost of sales you can go with this sales okay and the next one is capital turnover okay in this problem capital employed was given directly that is 4 lakh otherwise we have to find the capital employed i hope you all know how to calculate this capital employed right capital employed is nothing but your shareholders funds plus your long term debt okay but in this problem it is given that is 4 lakh is the capital employed and cost of sales is also 4 lakh so 4 lakh divided by 4 lakh will get one time okay i hope now you are clear to find this creditor turnover ratio and i hope you will find the creditor payment period working capital turnover fixed asset turnover and capital turnover ratio right i have given you a small two problems under this two methods okay you just work out this problem and comment it i'll check your answer Thank you for your patient listening.